What's up everybody and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascendant. It feels like we've been preparing for this for several episodes, but it's finally time. It's time to build the barn. So I went ahead and farmed up some stuff and I got some components put in this box right here. It's everything we're gonna need to build this barn. And we are ready to get our creatures out of the inside of the base. They've taken up all this room and we're ready to get them out into their own space. So we're gonna start by clearing out a whole bunch of stuff out here in the front of the base. And, uh, and we'll start putting down the t putting down the barn. So let's go. All right. So like I said, the first step in building this barn is going to be to clear all this brush and debris from uh, out in front of the base. And uh, because I know how much everybody loves watching someone mow the lawn. I'm going to go ahead and jump this up about 800% now. All right, now that all the trees and a lot of the bushes are gone that are just going to pop back anyway, we're going to go out here and knock all the stones down and get the flint and make some spark powder with it. We're gonna start off with some foundations. We don't need all of these. We're going to build a 10 by 10. I want it to be straight with the rest of the house. So I'm going to place them like this. We're just gonna keep going. That's not right. I'm gonna keep going until the terrain doesn't allow for it anymore. about right there yep. so then we're going to go back 10 because it's 10 by 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten everything past that get back up boy i could sure use an s plus gun right now We're going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, ten this way. So we should have pretty even here. Right. Pretty straight. Now we're just going to fill in the rest of this. Obviously, not going to have enough here but we'll get the theory back over here and pour some of this out by 10 laid down okay some of each start on this front right here so we've got one two in we want this one to be a window we do cornered windows Alright, 
So I don't want them to be just window, window, window. I want them to be a little bit spaced. So we're going to throw down some of these guys to, uh, to space them out. It's going to make it look like... So then it won't be a, it won't be just window next to window. We'll break it up a little bit. We'll have a little bit of a wider space between them. I like that look. It gives it a, it gives it personality. This is going to be our entrance right here, right in front of the entrance there. And for that, I'm going to do a double door. Thing that I wanted to do. There we go. Alright, so then we'll finish putting these like this. So. This is going to be regular window walls. I don't know what's happening with the... Right. Correctly, because now nope. All right. I'm out. I'm out of quarter walls. Grab the gates because that's going to be the next step. Now, I'm going to throw up a couple of these gates. This is going to be our, our entrance to either side of the barn. Look at that. Very nice. Right, so it's time to do this. Lining up. Okay, I see what I did. I got him a little out of alignment here. There we go. Now we've got all all Now 
it's perfectly level. Window in it. Alright, and that's going to do the entire bottom layer. Nearly the entire bottom layer. A couple of these window walls I'm actually going to swap out for solid walls um, eventually. Well, it's gotten kind of dark. And I guess I can still see good enough. I hope you guys can see good enough as well. Got a couple more walls to throw on. Going to stack walls right here. That's not what I wanted at all. I want regular walls. That's how that goes. Once I get this set up, it will be much more clear. Is that the roof design? And for kind of a, a beach barn vibe. Come on. Barn on the beach. Very nice. Get a bird. Come here. Jeez, I didn't think they were coming down here. I'll just try it off of here. So, I'm gonna rotate to this. Just like that. You know, it's kind of a weird, it's kind of a weird shape, but I've got a plan for that. I think it's gonna look pretty good. All right, now we got our ceilings. All the way across because there we go. We go all the way across because it's over the foundations below. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that done. It is a blessing and a curse to have so many snap points. Funny because every every time the little I, I get the house bonus, it kills the ambient noise. So it messes with my head. I think there's something happening to the game. All of the audio disappears. It should be. Yet for slopes. Yes. 
one. And it is very much starting to take a shape of a barn. Love it. Barn shaped. So, while we are at this point, I want to start working on the interior. Actually, let's do get some more slopes. In the box. Because we need some ramps. Oh my gosh. There's there. For these, I'm going to do ramps. This is going to be our entrance. Entrances. Oh, so that's that. Now to work on the interior a little bit. There is a, there's a plan for these walls. These top corners here. And I will show you that here in just a second. But first, let's start laying out the inside. And to do that, I need some of these. These. I need these. We want rails. We want to go this. So we're going to have three evenly spaced gates. One to be placed this way. You see you got the lighter green and the darker green. I want the darker green on all of them. So, but then we want, we want a rail right here in the middle. We can't do that because there's no snap point, so we need some ceilings. So in order to create a snap point there, we're going to come off of one of these guys here. And it's going to give us a middle snap. So... Put this. This line. That. It's a little finagling. Put it on there, but it'll get on there. There. And there. All right. So with those three ceilings in place, now I have a middle snap point right here. Now I can divide these two right down the middle. Very nice. Yes. In. Middle. Middle. Right in the middle. Okay. And see, now I had talked about before that I wanted to pick up these stone walls and turn them into regular walls. This is why. Just like that. We're just going to go up. I'm gonna go up three high. There's, this is all aesthetic at this point. And just to kind of help organize the, uh, the dinos. Um, yeah, I do want one there. 
I mean, this one doesn't really matter because this is kind of a... Wait a second. I got them all backwards. Always open in then. All that stuff I said about that being the right way around apparently was not true. Uh, but this one here doesn't really matter. I'm probably never gonna be never gonna have this one shut because this is going to be the walkway from the base into the barn. There's a lot of this, a lot of these rails that are going to go into this build. I like the way they look. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. I just like the way they look. They look really cool, I think. Got it. So I'm also going to doing something like this. It's like that. All the way across. I think that's going to really dress up the inside of this. It's going to give it a very, a very much of a, like an equestrian barn kind of look. That's, that's some finished work that I'll probably finish. I'll do off camera and, um, and such, but let's work on the, the little parts up here, little gaps. What do I do with the rails? Put them back in the box, did I? Yes, yes I did. Nope. 
think this is gonna do. We'll have to see how this turns out. I think that's uh I think that's it. I think that's what I want. So we've pretty much got the structure of it built. Established. Now we need to do Oh, you know what? I forgot something up here. some uh I'll dress up the ceiling a little bit this roof line it's not where I want it These little roofs here. We're gonna do a window wall here. We're gonna duplicate on this side. We're going to do these slopes. That's correctly. Yes. Completely hides the little tiny one. Beautiful. Alright, this is gonna give us our little little uh little added touch to the roof line. It doesn't look so plain. Take a look. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Just got a couple of finishing touches to put on up there. Let me get rid of some of this. some water. Okay. 
want to do more rails here. some more wood across the front of this build to kind of give it a rustic look. There you to move out of the way. What's in the way? There we go. Go ahead and move them. So what I want to do here... stairs. Like that. This is going to give me roof access. Yeah. All right, folks. Here we are with the completed barn. Let's go on the tour. So coming in the front here, you've got the entrance. This is going to be where I'll probably keep the hoopers and some of the smaller things just right in these areas. When you come into the inside, you've got your nicely decorated interior of the barn. And each of these other five compartments are going to be for other creatures. So we'll have a spot for the fairies. Um, actually, this whole back, back wall is probably going to be dedicated to um, boss dinos. So we'll have theories, megatheriums, and I don't know, something else in here. The other side is going to be our miscellaneous farmers and, and harvesters, so like the carnos, the codex, uh, that kind of stuff. I'm going to take the cages for the dung beetles and I'm going to place them outside here and that'll be where the, the dung beetles live. Um, eventually I'm going to have a farm somewhere but so then I'll be using the dung beetles. Oh man. I'm trying to do a tour. So I'll be using the dung beetles to, to fertilize the crops obviously. Um, we're going to get the two feeding troughs and we're going to throw it in here on either side. And we'll set them up similar to how we have them set up in the house right now to where one of them will be for just for fish meat for the dinos that eat fish meat. There's that thing. And then the other one will be for everybody else. So we come around the back side and we come up these stairs to get roof access. And this is our landing platform for flyers. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it. I'm really happy with the way the barn turned out. It's going to be great to get all the dinos that are in the house out of the house and into their own spots in the barn. 
we still got a couple of things to do around base. We need to build some walls to keep things like trikes from coming in and deciding they live on our porch. Get out of here, trike. But that's for later on down the road. In the next video, I want to go after some Apex teams. I want to get a, a couple of UDs, and I really want to go after a Rex. Uh, our Survival Evolve series, we didn't get a chance to tame a Rex. So I'd love to do that. So let's plan to do that in the next video. But until then, take it easy.